Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm doing a collab video with my friend, 360 Nails TV. She got in touch with me and asked me if I would like to do a collab. And these are our top 10 picks for this summer. Polishes that um, we would like to wear or hope to wear or dream of wearing this summer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I um, had a power outage here today that lasted for three hours, so I was not able to do the swatches live. So we've got a little nail wheel here, and I'm going to get started. I have tried to mainly stick to mainstream brands. I've got two, only two, um, indies to share today. Now, I always believe you need a really good white for summer, whether it's just a plain white manicure or to do a nail art over or to make those neons pop. And one of my favorites is from Stashed Polish and it's called Luncheon. And it's just a beautiful white cream with a really good formula. And there it is on the swatch wheel, kind of hard to tell. <laughs> And then the next three I have are from China Glaze. China Glaze, in my opinion, really does some of the best summer colors ever. I, I've, that's why I've got three of them here today in this video. This first one is called Rose Among Thorns. And the camera, of course, is not going to show you guys how amazing this polish is. It's just not. But it does come off matte. There it is, right there. And I will put a top coat on it here in just a little bit so you can see how beautiful it looks with the top coat. The next one I have is China Glaze. I'm still getting used to my camera setup. I'm sorry. And this one is actually from a Halloween collection, but it's just a great green for summer. And this is Drink Up Witches. I think this was from like two or three years ago for the Halloween collection. Love this one. Beautiful bright green. I wouldn't really call it a neon, but it's definitely a bright green. Now, the last china glaze I have is a no-brainer. Anytime I think of summertime and nail polish, this polish pops into my head first. It's always first. And this is the second edition of Flip Flop Fantasy. Flip Flop Fantasy has to be on the list. And this is the... Um, not the original. This is the second edition, I guess is what we're going to call it. And it also dries matte. And I will throw a top coat on it here in just a little bit so you can see what that looks like. It is one of my favorites. Now another polish that I always think of in the summertime is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Turn it around, Tina. And this one is... name is on this one. But this is the original For Real For Real Pacific Blue. It's under the cap <laughs> where I put my swatch dot. Um, but I love, love this color. Um, my bottle is about down to here and I will be um, breaking out my backup because I do have one backup. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful blue. And there are other blues out there that are similar to this. If you don't have this one or, you know, whatever. There's a Julie G one that's close. Moonshine Manny has one that's close. I think there's an Essie that also is very similar. But they're, they're, you know. But that shade of blue looks great in the summer to me. Next we have, I had to throw in one of these Color Club mood changing polishes. Um, I could have put all of them in here because they're all great for summer in my opinion. Um, but this is the one I picked for today. And this one is called... Shady Lady, and in its regular form, it looks this darker purple, but when it gets light, when it's, you know, change colors, it goes into this pink, and I will get out some cotton, hot and cold water so we can try those out, but that is it right there on the nail. It is beautiful all on its own. Okay, now for my second indie one, we've got this one, and I just showed this in a video not too long ago because it's a recent purchase, but this is Moonshine Manny. Also, I lassoed the sun, and it's just a really bright, beautiful yellow. It's got a really good formula, too. So there we go with that one. And here we go. This is another Halloween polish. It was a limited edition by Pure Ice. 
and this one's called Gorgeous. And I know it's a Halloween polish, and a lot of people think of this for fall, but I love like an orange like this in the summertime. I, I really get into those like terracotta eel oranges, and but look at that. It's got some shimmer in it that actually shows up on the nail. Loving it. And here we go with a polish number nine. And I have an orally here. This is one my friend Connie sent me, and it's called The Crazy Life. And it's just one of those beautiful bubblegum Barbie doll pinks. It's just, uh, like bubblicious. And it's got that shining um, purple flash in it. And I, I love a pink polish like that. And there we go. Beautiful. And this last one I have is from Essie. I'm trying to this way. Essie, Essie. And this one, I can't remember when I got it, but this is Viva Antigua. And it just is such a good mermaidy water color, and I always want to wear this in the summer. It's got that shimmer going on in it. I love, love this one. This is a, a, a great summer polish. If you're doing any, like, you know, ocean looking manicures or, you know, anything like that. So there we go. So those are my top tens for this summer. I am hoping to wear these and, you know, enjoy them and come up with some really, and that's the thing about these shades is you can do so many different kinds of nail art over them and that's what gets me all excited. You guys know I love me some nail art. Um, I will leave a link for a 360 nail art TV down in the description box. Please, please go check out that channel. She does some amazing videos. We've become fast friends. It's just so easy when, when you've got people that love polish the way you do. It's just so easy to make friends and, and I'm really enjoying that aspect of this here at YouTube. And like I said, I will leave a link for her down below. Please go check out her video. We're going to post these together on the same day. And um, before I let you go, I'm going to whip out some top coat and top these matte ones right here live while we are together so you can see. But I love a plump, plump juicy, glossy top coat over a lot of neons. I might wear them neon one day and then, you know, pop some top coat on them. And so look at that. It's just gorgeous. Okay, and then we need to do Flip Flop Fantasy because it also dries down neon. And also, you know, both of the versions of the Flip Flop Fantasy really don't have the best formulas. So putting a top coat on them, you know, helps smooth out any imperfections from the, the polish. Because I find matte polishes tricky to work with. They're a little brush strokey in my opinion. So there we go with the Flip Flop Fantasy. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here. That was the Shady Lady. And it changes it. I mean, it just totally changes it. It's gone from a dusty looking purple to a juicy looking purple. So, so there we go. Got our top coat on that. And I believe the rest of them are shiny enough on their own. I'm not going to add any top coat to them. But we're going to let this one dry down, and then I want to break out some hot and cold water and see if we can get the color to change for you so you can see why I am so wanting to wear that this summer. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I have got my respective little waters. We have ice cubes in the cold one and nothing floating in the hot one. And this is our color right here. We're going to go into the cold first and see what it does. Okay, it made it a dark purple, and I'm going to go into the hot water, and it makes it a bright pink. So you can see there's like the room temperature, and then the cold, and then the hot. So a very, very nice. I like it. Um, I'm so hooked on, you know, those color changing polishes. I don't know what the shelf life is on them. Um, I can't remember if this was one of the first ones I bought or if it was some of the last ones I bought so I can't really tell how long they've got for a shelf life. 
I do recommend anytime you get into any kind of color changer polish to shake it up really, really, really good to mix all those pigments back in together. And then you might want to roll it in your hands to, you know, make it behave and not bubble. So that is my top 10 for this summer. I would love to hear yours. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. You do, if you want to do top five, that's fine. Top three, I would love to hear your picks. It's always interesting to see what, um, you know, what others are wearing. So that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.